Welcome everybody. This is the Day Trader Genius online daily review for March 19th, 2019. I'm your host, Scott Patton. Joining us is Coach Rob. And we're here to show you that basically every day, Monday to Thursday, there is an opportunity for profits to be made in stock options, day trading. Get in, get out. Don't have to worry about what the market does overnight that could wipe out your position. Uh, you're able to sleep at night. And our goal is, you know, in 10 minutes of trading to make 10%. Now, sometimes it'll be a little bit more and sometimes it'll be a home run and it'll be phenomenal. Like the odd time we showed you 60% trades, those are unusual trades. But if you're not in the game, you're not playing, you're not uh, trading, then you won't be around when those opportunities occur. So you've got to be in to take advantage of those. So Coach Rob, it's a beautiful sunny day out. Was it a beautiful day for the stock market? It was pretty good. We had some some nice opportunities, uh, and they're not always like you said. They're not always going to be home runs. You just look for singles and doubles as well. Just just hit it where the defense is. So take what the the defense is giving you in baseball. Take what the market gives you in trading. You can't force the hand of the market. You can't manipulate the conditions. Just let it come to you. Here we got Netflix. The market's pretty much starting off green, but Netflix was tanking pretty red so it's a, a decent rogue setup and it's meeting some support down there tries to go green but we see netflix start off dipping down to about 363.50 would be the price point and now it's dipping below that we're we're broken that by seven cents and we got some volume plus some of the big indicators that that all of our traders pay attention to signal K band, trend line, J stop, those fantastic four plus the volume. That's a really good entry signal. Let's get in. I'll bring up our buy close options window. We're going to buy a put. Uh, that's how you are able to profit on a stock that is falling in price. So we'll buy a put option and using our replay controller, we'll just move forward one minute at a time. We'll see how Netflix behaves. Okay, right there, we got a little volume increase, and in in one minute we're sitting at five percent. So that's that's a nice signal. Let's here here you'd be watching this very closely to see if it's going to be a turnaround. You have a little wick right there, and that's a volume increase, not the highest for the day though. So let's just hang in for another minute and see where it goes. All right, right there. In two minutes, you just made eighteen percent profit. If you aren't happy with that, if you want to hold on for more. More power to you, but you might be paying tuition, and that's that's a little bit risky. Take what you got. You just touched a previous low, and right here, it, just just something we don't normally talk about, Scott. This purple box here defines the overnight trading range. So, what did all those people after market hour or before market hours in our case, because we started opening bell. So, before the market opened to us normals, what were they doing? Well, this was the range that they traded in, the price range. And the lowest it got was 364. Here we broke out of that overnight range decisively. And so that gave it, uh, you know, that gave the stock a direction, put it that way, it declared that it was going to be sold. And that momentum gained. Here's the previous low. At that point, you have to put yourself in the mind of other traders out there with different strategies and say, somebody out there has a pre, uh, a pre planned entry point of that previous low. They've earmarked that as a bargain for Netflix. They like it at that value and they're probably going to buy. So on a red trend like this, that tells you you might get a reversal at the previous low. Plus you've got some support lines down beneath that multi-day trend line. Let's go ahead and close that put out. It is not worth the risk to hang out any longer. That's right. And almost 20% on your money is pretty good return in a few minutes. Yeah, you go talk to your banker about getting that. <laughs> yeah, in in two minutes. That's it. And and you've only been sitting at your console for 15 minutes at this point, maybe you know, 20, 30. Hopefully if you're you're doing some warm-up exercises, maybe a little pre-market research, but still that's that's a heck of a day. Yeah, and and if if you're a one trade per day kind of person, that's literally you're shaping up a four hour work week right there. If you wanna hunt for more opportunities later in the day and and this is what you love doing 
short. Let's move forward a little bit. We'll go forward to the, the 10 o'clock hour. <clears throat> We're not going to hit Netflix on this one. I want to get us to my, my gym class star, as, as we said yesterday, which is Tesla. And Tesla is, has kind of, let's just say, Scott, it, it marches to the beat of its own drum. Can we, is that fair to say? Yes. <laughs> okay. So here we are right now we're using uh five minute candles that's that's not what I would normally do. Let's see okay, control three so we're using three minute candles around ten thirty time let's let's take a look at what Tesla does right around that previous low and opening price and that's what i that's why I picked it at this moment. It's a twenty day break below that's pretty powerful. There's a lot of investors out there who or or it's traders who trade on different time scales. Some are multi-week, some are multi-day, or some are day traders like we're uh, exhibiting right here. But this is a powerful line, a uh, price point for all of them, pretty much. They're all paying attention to this. It's a factor for all of them. So that just tells us behavior might change around this line. Let's see what Tesla does. It's looking pretty strong on the green side. And here at 1032, it is... Uh, it wasn't really proving it to us, but now we're at a high for the day. We've broken that 20-day break below convincingly, convincingly, and 268. Let's go back to those five-minute candles and see how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to enter here on a call. That's how we make profit on, on stocks that are rising in price. We'll move forward. <laughs> Two minutes. There we go. We got uh, 16%. Uh, wow. In, uh, and that's that's just in that that single candle. Again, this is plenty. You 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 want to exit there into strength. It's touching 270. That's a pretty big price point. I wouldn't want to mess with that. If you move forward another minute, it, it not only is it retracting from its its foray into the 270 territory, but it's also got a volume spike. So we're we're glad we're out at this point. We'll take that nice profit and a a snap. That's for sure. He's day. And then I got one one more for you. Afternoon traders. Shout out to everybody who likes to stick around in the afternoon. We most of the trade reviews you see us do, the folks out there is we most of them are going to be in the morning because that's where the volume is. That's where the price movement generally is. It correlates to volume. That's just historical facts. Doesn't mean you can't find good moves in the afternoon time frame. And one of the things that I do when I'm in, when I am trading in the afternoon is I, I'll tend tend to look at the indexes. I'll look at stocks too, but the indexes are prone to longer moves in the afternoon. So that's one of the things I'm looking for. We're going to go pretty far towards the end of the day, and we're going to look at the Russell 2000 index, which is IWM is the ticker for that. And you can see Scott if we go to five minute candles on this guy. Oops. Wow, big drop. Yeah, look at that. That's powerful, right? We've got got an extra indicator on there, high volume. It had basically wiped it it had gone red, uh nice bear move until the eleven o'clock hour. Volume spike to end that. And then it it was rallying. It had gotten almost up to opening price and then the bottom just dropped out and it lost all those gains. Now it kind of did nothing with some low volume through the 13 and 1400 hours. Now that we're in the final hour of the day, we're opening up. It's uh, 1501, um, 3.01 p.m. Eastern time, market time. And it's starting to get some powerful red movement back. So this is where I would watch it for a setup. You got a couple, hmm, some sideways action. But it, you could tell just by the behavior as you witness the minutes go by. Just watch it and see if it's telling you something. It's telling it's telling all of us. It's it's broadcasting to the world that it wants to go red again. It wants to go on another bear run. Here at fifteen fourteen, it is breaking the low for the day. The CLV is at one and fifty three cents to the next line of support. Support is used for downward action. That's kind of like a floor. And resistance is moved for up, used for upward action. That's kind of like a ceiling. So is it going to bounce off of that point? That's just something to watch. But 50 cents on an index is a lot. So let's get in here on a put. 
get my buy close right there, put, all right. In turn, we'll go one minute at a time. You see just how far it goes. Now in the afternoon, Scott, as I was saying, a lot of these moves are gonna be longer forming. And this is where that old adage that you and I are familiar with, strong hands comes in big time. Also, you wanna make sure that you don't miss out. You gotta get out before the stock market closes. Another big one, yes. But if you're trading in this final hour of the day, that that uh, 3 p.m. Oh, this is good, hour. this is good, this is good. Oh, oh, I can't get out because the market just closed, right? Absolutely. And and so here, well, let's see, we've been in, it's 15.23, we've been in nine minutes, we got 11%. That's a pretty nice run. If you had a strong hand, you might give it a little bit longer and just see, I mean, the bottom is dropping out. You've seen it's got a proclivity for that on the day. So at any point, you could get some renewed volume that would really drop the bottom out. It's on you. You got to get in the replay and check out these afternoons. See what's flutter. If that three minutes of, of, of green candle right there, if that was too much flutter for you, you might have a, a strategy that's more suited towards shorter trades. But if you held on this long, it just touched. Yeah. That support line, SA, and eighth candle of the trend, 29%. Come on. You got to go at this point. If you haven't gotten out already. This late in the day, too. That's amazing. It really is. And and the beauty of it, Scott, to me, is this is, this is I guess, my coach's tip for uh, March 19th. I don't care what made the investors sell Russell 2000 index on, the, on this day, made the price drop. I don't care. I just know that it did drop. And we were we were able to profit off of based just based off of recognizing patterns on a chart. So focus on that. Don't watch the news and fill your head with a bunch of stuff you don't need. Just look at the charts. Look at the indicators. That's you bring up a great point, uh, Coach Rob, and that is this is a technical strategy. We don't care what the news say. There are people that trade stock options very successfully just watching the news and reacting to the news. That is not our strategy. Our strategy is trend is your friend. And uh, when it ends, get out. And actually, before it ends, get out. <laughs> right? You don't want to be like two minutes too late and lose a, a huge percentage of your profit because you uh, hung in too long. But anyway, that's a story for another day. We don't look at the news, we just look at the stocks. Whatever is happening, there could be some massive. You know, announcement that made uh, this thing drop like crazy. We don't care. We don't pay any attention to that. We just follow the trend. And uh, that's our strategy. And if that works for you, then we invite you to join us. We have a 10 day free trial. You can get in, you can kick the tires, try everything else. It's a, with the replay, it's not a live trading situation because that's, there's a lot of training, coaching, uh, mastering of, uh, you know, different things that you need to do. The good news is, is once you've mastered the replay, it's a small jump to the live because we actually do all of our buying and selling from the software. It's not like you have to see this and then jump over to some other platform to, to work with it. So that's the good news. The bad news is, is it takes work, takes perseverance, takes commitment, takes good training, good education, good coaching, and good tools. And we have all those there to support you in your successful trading. And we look forward to having you join us. Check in the description. We'll have uh, links there on how to get a hold of us. And we can talk to you about this some more. So, Coach Rob, any last? Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple things I can't, left on, can't leave unsaid. That's great stuff. Absolutely. You're saying, let me pivot off of that and just say a couple things. One, yes, our replay simulator, this right here, is actual market days. So what you see here absolutely translates to the live market. So test it here, take it to the live market. And you, like you said, Scott, it's very, very little adjustment as far as your end. And then, yeah, absolutely. So we get, you and I, we're in day trader mode. So we're very using a microscope. We're looking at this on the small trains. That's why we don't need the news. That's why we don't hold overnight. However, we do have, with a 10-day trial, you have also a, the ability to access our stock trader lists. So 
if this doesn't sound like to you, and if you are a trader who has the ability or has a proven strategy, watching the news and uh, you know making your entry and exits off of news-driven sentiment, cool. We've got amazing charts and tools, the master list, genius modes, the daily dozen that can help help you as well. So check out Stock Trader Genius. It's also part of the uh, 10-day trial. Awesome. Great. So thank you, Coach Rob, for sharing your knowledge and your expertise and showing us these trades. We were able to make uh, 17.5, 15.7, and 29.2 in uh, minutes. So that's pretty awesome. And, uh, and if we can do it, you can do it. So thanks for joining us, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, Scott. Thank you.